Hey, happy Monday, guys. I just spent three hours cleaning my bathroom. You may ask, how can you possibly spend that amount of time in a bathroom? Well, when you share it with a boy, in my case, my brother, and they pee everywhere. You have to wipe the walls, you have to wipe the floors, you have to wipe the, the uh, side, the, what, what is this? The, <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> what is that called? I can't remember. Um, it's just, it was a fucking disaster. I wiped around the toilet, I commented the bathtub, and then I took a well-deserved shower, and I'm breaking out. Happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, I was just like, the only thing that was getting me through was first of all, seeing all of this shit off of the floor and thinking about this beautiful pie. This beautiful pie. I don't have whipped cream. I was gonna buy it and then I was like, no, because you will probably eat this entire pie by yourself. So cut as many things out of it as you can. Just like warm up some blueberries and put that on top and that's what I'm gonna do. I just broke all of my fingers <laughs> trying to get this on and that off. These are a bitch to take off. I was not aware, but this looks so good. I'm so into the marble trend. It looks, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Got this off of Amazon. I think it was like 15 bucks. Also got the Beauty Box 5 box in and some teeth whitening stuff, which I'm gonna open up right now and see what's up. Also, I made my legs sweat and this was sticking to it because I was pulling so hard at that. Cool. So I've decided I'm eating this salad, I'm eating some, well, I'm making some rice, and then I'm going to make dessert for later. I do have someone come, coming over, so I'm gonna make some frozen bananas. What you do, it takes some tin foil, like a, a tin foil sheet container thing. I'm gonna do a cooking video, and I will include like how to make this in there. Sorry, I'm just like, oh no, they're falling. Ow. One of these. So you grab one of these, you chop up your banana into, you know, medium slices, you put some peanut butter on it, you warm up some Nutella or some chocolate sauce, you put that over top, pop it in the freezer for about an hour. So good. Hello, can we just talk about how I am, one, obsessed with Colleen vlogs. I don't know how it took me so long to get on this, like, Miranda Sings Colleen bandwagon, but I just love her vlogs. They are the best vlogs that I watch. Like. They're so honest. She just like the way that she calls out people is amazing in such a mature way. I love it. Um, also, I'm getting breakfast. Also, you can see Buddy over there chowing down. Today, I'm gonna make a ton of videos because I'm still like in pre film for school mode. And um, I shouldn't touch my face, I'm breaking out <laughs> still. But um, I wanna do my morning routine. I was gonna do it this week, I think I'm gonna do it next week instead because I have camping and everything this week so yeah kind of screwed the pooch on that one a little bit okay so I just finished my makeup and now I'm just gonna wait for my hair to dry a little bit and <laughs> YouTube videos are automatically starting awesome um, I have been so relaxed today because my bathroom is so clean is anyone else like that when you clean something that was before so dirty you just feel relaxed like I don't even know if you've seen the entire bathroom so I'm gonna show you because Again, I cleaned mirrors, and sinks, and counters, and walls, and floors, and baseboards, that's what they're called, and toilets, and tubs, and I got a new shower curtain up there, I got new shower curtain rings, I have a new bath mat, but I'm not using that yet, I'm gonna wait until Jess moves out because he's planning on doing that in the next couple months, and then this is all mine, this is all mine, and I've already bought, like, bought, okay, grammar, some, like, new stuff for in here, for when it's all nice and mine, like I got a new toilet paper roll because these I hate, but you know, I can't take those out because I don't know how. <laughs> so here's a mini bathroom tour. This is my sink and you should have seen it before. Like I really need to learn to do before and afters because this was gross and now I have like all that and like my other products down here and I need to clean out these drawers. This is like my hair stuff. This is like a mishmash of a bunch of shit. Just, there's a condom in there. Nice. Um, and then I've got in here, and this is so much cleaner, you guys. Like, the floor before was gross. I cleaned everywhere. It just, like, it, there's always water on here, so we put down towels. It's so clean. I need one of those because we've had that for years, and it's, like, getting rusty. <laughs> but aside from that, everything looks so good. Like, I bleached the walls. There was so much soap scum on there and now it's so clean and I love that bath mat because it like massages your feet. I've got like swatches on here. Anyways, that's it. So this is what a pre-haul looks like. This won't be up for a few weeks so you're getting a sneak peek. We got some Sephora and a beautiful gift and some 
bedding and pillows and makeup and bras but this is this is the disaster that it is before I even film and then that is the di the disaster when I like unboxed some of this stuff oh my god so much trash anyway so I went to Tim Hortons got some food and now I'm gonna go get some french bread from my grandma she has them downstairs and then I'm gonna film a haul video a project pan a girl talk a Q&A um, a patron Q&A and then I think I'll be done for today. It is six o'clock and I have been filming for the last four hours and um, I was gonna clear out my SD card but it's taking forever. I was gonna go downstairs and make some of those like recipe things. Ooh, dark darkness. But my SD card isn't clearing out as fast as I wanted to. YouTuber probs. And I'm hungry so I think I'm just gonna go make some food. I'm not looking in the camera at all. Hello. But, um, yeah, both of my SD cards are full. What am I doing? I made, like, seven videos today. <laughs> oh my god, it's loading. You guys, it doesn't say it's gonna take 12 hours to import now. Now it's only 2 hours and 40 minutes. Awesome! But I do need to finish Bachelor after the rose or after the ceremony or whatever. Why can't you schedule Bachelor Pad? Not Bachelor Pad. Bachelor in Paradise. Why can't you schedule a rose ceremony? Why do you always have to cut it off before the goddamn rose ceremony? I hate that. I hate it. I hate it when you do it in The Bachelor. I hate it when you do it in The Bachelorette. It's stupid. Stop. No. Yes, you're my little baby. He's so cute. We're having a cuddle right now. Oh. And he's tired. It's like 11 o'clock and I just had a bath because I cleaned the tub. I deserve it. Hey, monkey, what do you think? You think I deserve it? Say, yep, mom, you get it. You get the bath. It is Thursday, and I went to bed last night at like 10.30, and it is now 10.30. So I woke up at like 6-something, having a little bit of leftover Chinese food from yesterday. And then I'm going to Superstore to get some makeup products, because that's where they sell like Milani in Canada and NYX and stuff. And um, I have to go to Southgate to Sephora to return a foundation that I got. And to buy some stuff because I'm doing a swap with my friend Oliver and there will be a, um, a video on it obviously when it happens. But I'm excited. I'm going to try to make this quick because my parents are coming home from vacation. So I want to, you know, be home when they're home because then we're all going out camping. But I'm going a couple of days after they go. So yes, I'm going to eat this real quick, change and go out and I am getting some Thai food when I get back and I'm so excited. Okay, hey guys, so I just got back from Superstore and Sephora and I got like two things for me and then a bunch of stuff for Oliver and I'm so excited. And I'll link him down below in case you, you know, don't know who he is. His music is amazing. Go listen to his song, Bones. It's on my iTunes, it's fucking incredible. So anyways, I am done shopping. I think it took like, I don't know, an hour and a half with all the driving around. So, not bad, not bad, pretty good timing. Hi! Okay, so I don't know what's going on here. I'm waiting to get ready for the podcast, but I got a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. I'll show you some of the stuff that I got from Sephora. Uh, okay, <laughs> the noises I'm making are ridiculous. This is, I cannot read that that far. Aisha, I think? I don't know, but I like it. I'm kind of digging it. I'm liking purple lips. I don't know what it is. And then I got some like early Christmassy presents because I got sucked into the Sephora line. I got sucked into all the like sample things. So what else did I get for myself? Oh, I got some of these little nail polish things. Did I get literally anything else? I got like a Novena lotion and then some protein bars. I wanted to try Luna bars. Superstore has them guys. I have not been able to find them except for like the maybe cookie dough flavor or something, but I wanted to try something else. And these are chocolate peppermint sticks and I'm so down with that flavor. Um, so what else? I got some razors. Do you care? These will be in a haul, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna redo my nails right now and then I'm gonna fix up my makeup for the podcast and my hair. And um, yeah, then I'm gonna probably just finish packing to go out camping tomorrow. Also, side note, I've been having an unnecessary amount of dreams about the Property Brothers, specifically Jonathan, in my mind, at night. and. Some of them are, he, he's just coming in and like fixing and renovating my house and other ones are much less G rated, much less G rated. So, you know, I just, I have a thing for Jonathan from the Property Brothers. I think he's hot and I'm not ashamed to say it. And I've told several people, several of my friends, like you wanna hear about this incredibly vivid, realistic dream that I had last night about Jonathan from the Property Brothers. And they were all very interested in the outcome of that dream. 
It was interesting. It was an interesting dream. It's one of those dreams that you're like, I wonder if they're like that in person because it's just so vivid that like there must have been a character trait or something that kind of pulled that into your mind. Anyways, I'm gonna pack, pack, because I was packing up makeup. I'll do like a what's in my travel makeup bag because this is what I bring out camping. Yes, I bring makeup out camping because sometimes if I'm really bored, I'll go into town and like see a movie or go to the mall or something. So true camping. Okay, so super simplified. We've got sunscreen, foundation. I might bring a tinted moisturizer instead. Concealer for under the eyes. Um, translucent powder. Just a, what is this? Like a, a cream shadow, Jesus. Mascara, lip chap, eyebrow stuff. And then I just want a bronzer and this. I might just bring like a single bronzer because that's huge. And then I got two brushes. So see, look at how like little this all is. I think this is pretty damn good, honestly, guys. I'm watching this movie, it's called The First Time, it's got the kid from The Maze Runner, and I just want to say I'm so sick of every teenage rom-com to have two girls who fight over a guy, even though in this one they aren't fighting, but the girl who has a personality always wins. How fucking hard is it to have a personality? Like, why does every single movie featuring two girls and one guy, and obviously one has to end up with the guy, and this can go the same for like a, I don't know, a love triangle like The Hunger Games, which isn't about a love triangle, whatever, but why is it always that only one person can have a legitimate personality and the other person's just hot? or the other person is vapid and hot and you have a crush on them but they don't want you and then they want you when you see that like it's just so overdone literally just turn the camera off and then this whole scene in the movie happens these two fucking kids met last night in this movie and now they're sitting here like you're never gonna be alone you have your family and you have me forever you met last night you've known each other for 14 hours you can fucking relax with that I'm there for you forever bullshit <sighs> I'm getting cynical and old. <laughs> so I changed the lip color for the podcast and we're gonna start filming that in a little bit. Gonna go feed Buddy though because dogs need nutrition too. I have nothing to say to you. I have nothing to vlog about, nothing has changed. I finished the movie. It's one of those movies that you watch when you're bored. I was recently for the last hour excessively bored. Hi baby, want some food? And it was, it was good for that. It was great, served its purpose. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's see what Buddy does when he eats. Pepper, wag that tail. You want some pepper? Pepper. Okay. So step one is we have to give him some Benadryl because he has allergies. So we gotta. This is hard with one hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's like, bitch, hurry up. Eat him. Eat the pill too. Good boy. Okay, ready, sit, 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 good, stay, ah, okay, <laughs> you will finish that whole bowl of food in like a solid 15 to 20 seconds, it's ridiculous. Anyways, that movie gave me a new appreciation for Dylan O'Brien, hot, hot, and his arms, they kept like doing these close-up shots of his hands which I thought was a little bit weird, but then I was kind of into it and I was like, what sort of shit am I into? This is strange. Anyways, I am really thinking about how I need a haircut now, but again, I'm not getting one until my six week um, post-op appointment. For those of you who may be new, got my ears pinned back, can't get my haircut because people are rough around my ears. And that's not good if you pay a substantial amount of money to make your ears not stick out like an elf. Um, so I want to get a haircut. I want to get a solid couple inches off and then go a little bit more blonde. I love the length. I love the look of it. It's just in my face all the time and that's annoying. Morning. Um, so it's weird. I've been waking up recently and I haven't had like such dark circles because I've been sleeping at like 11 and waking up at 9. So that's a lot of fucking sleep and I've been feeling good that way but my body has been feeling so shitty. I don't know if it's just that I haven't gotten enough protein or certain things that I would usually eat if I was eating like meat. I haven't eaten any meat in a week, a week. And like, I, I thought that by now I would hit my like, you're doing really well point. And I've been having nuts and like things that make you, you know, get protein, but I just, I guess not enough. So I bought some protein bars 
and I just I've been feeling really shitty I don't know like it's it's one of those like you feel like you're getting sick but you never get sick it's just that thing that you're like you know you're just not getting enough of something so I'm going to go out camping and probably eat I don't know more crappy foods but I don't know I've just been I've been eating so good and it's frustrating that I haven't hit my like it feels good to eat good point yet like all I feel is hungry all I feel is grumpy all I feel is like I'm going to get sick but I have to push through it because I know that I'm not like I know that it's just the change in my diet so I'm just like frustrated right now because I, I feel like I should be doing better I feel like I should be feeling better but I am looking better my skin was clearing up I broke out here and here and my skin's better and now I'm very bright and I'm like feeling like I don't look as tired so I don't know I'm gonna eat probably pretty shitty this weekend but I do want to get like continue this I have a juice cleanse coming up next week for two days instead of three because I just kind of want to like do a last minute like flush out all the toxins feel like shit for another two days just just cuz just do it don't be a bitch about it and um, I will try to vlog more out camping tomorrow well I go out tonight and tonight is supposed to be super rainy tomorrow's supposed to be like 17 only and then Sunday when I leave is supposed to be like 24 so I don't think there's gonna be a whole bunch of like crazy outdoor activities hello I'm going out to lunch at Joey's and then I'm gonna go to Walmart real quick and get some wrapping paper and stuff so I can mail out the package and um, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't really know if I'm gonna go out camping today because it is supposed to rain. Original plan was to leave today but I guess if it's gonna be gloomy and stuff I don't just want to go out to sit in the trailer. I'll just go out tomorrow when it's a little bit nicer earlier. So it is like legitimately miserable outside so I think I'm gonna just head out camping tomorrow instead earlier it's three right now I would have to shower and get ready I could still totally make it but this way I'll be able to have all of my videos edited and I won't just be sitting somewhere freezing my ass off which is not something I want to do um so I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and wrap up some of the things that I bought for the swap and then what then maybe I'll go make some I really want to make those lasagna rolls that video like the health food video that I was gonna make but I don't really see a point in making all these recipes when I'm gonna be gone for two days I'm just walking around with the neck pillow on I'm watching this movie and do you ever get so like involved in a movie that you're watching that you have to pause and take a break because it's so good and you don't want it to end it's I think through your eyes or into your eyes Joss Whedon directed it it's on Canadian Netflix probably on US Netflix it's fucking crazy like I've seen this movie and I was like like the don't you pop at me. <laughs> the like movie thing on Netflix and I was like, oh, it looks stupid, romance movie, whatever. But I watched the trailer and it's so cool. Stop popping at me, damn it. <laughs> I'm warming up my leftovers. Um, it's so good. It looks so good. If you want a movie that isn't too heavy, but, and doesn't have like too many huge issues, at least so far, I'm like halfway through. It's so good, so good. This neck pillow looks ridiculous, but I was like lying in my bed and my neck was getting sore, so. I decided to look like the kind of person who wears a neck pillow. I don't know. I don't think there's like a stereotypical kind of person who wears a neck pillow. So I was just watching this comedy show about this guy had this whole segment and joke about jobs that he's had and that got me thinking about jobs that I've had. Now, I was a hostess and that literally includes saying hi to someone, bringing them to a seat, bringing them food occasionally when the waitresses are busy, and then clearing the plates. And like on paper, it's not a hard job. Like, honestly, that's the part of the job that's so fucking easy. What I can't handle, or what I was fortunate enough not to have to handle anymore, was people thinking that their bad day was somehow my problem. I'm sorry. You know what, if you are the kind of person who's gonna come here and unload your bad day onto someone else, you're the kind of person who deserves to have a bad day. And it's times like this when I'm like thinking about jobs that I've had and instances where old men would come in and think that because they're 65, it's cute to flirt with me. It's not, you're still gross. Um, that I'm really, really thankful that I'm doing this instead of that. So to all of you who are in the service industry, have a good day today, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the shit that you put up with. And tip your waitresses, you fucking assholes. Anger. Can we quickly talk about how into my jacket I am? I fucking love it. It's from Bootlegger. It's so cute. I got it for, I think, 40 or 50 bucks off of 100. I love it. It's so nice. 
morning guys okay so it is saturday and you know that i do videos with abby and we have like the hashtag ashby thing look at a new movie trailer that just came out and i watched it and it looks really good so we have our own movie is all i'm saying look at that <laughs> i just sent this to abby on facebook i think that's hilarious hey i am headed out camping right now we're gonna make a pit stop into town and get a booster juice because i'm so fucking hungry um, I don't know, I might stop off and get something else too, but I definitely want a booster juice and it is about 2.30 right now, so I'm expecting to get there around 4. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, just be a circus for you guys. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're catching up. Hi, okay, so it is like 10 o'clock and I'm a little bit drunk right now and I'm trying to vlog But there's nothing to vlog. We're just up by the bar. Can you hear that? I'm driving home. I decided not to stay. Well, mainly because no one else is staying, but I'm leaving It's like 12:49, and I'm gonna stop in town on the way I, it only took me 40 minutes to get here yesterday, so I'm hoping that with a small little detour, it'll take me about an hour, and I can get a milkshake, and there's a truck on this tiny little road, so now we have to share this tiny little road. I hate gravel roads. Like, I have a 4x4 vehicle, but I still hate gravel roads. They're not my favorite thing. Okay, so I just finished going through my clothes. I'm gonna donate some bras that I haven't worn at all, or given to my cousin, I don't know. And uh, then I got rid of some jeans, 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 scarves, jeans, <laughs> like, so this is all getting donated. And then I also have some clothes that I haven't worn a whole bunch of. So those are stored in here. These are the ones that I'm going to sell on my Instagram. There's this like super pretty purple, like long dress. I just, I love it. I just, I don't have anywhere to wear it. It's like a kind of choker dress. It would be so pretty if someone like knew how to style it or went anywhere that would be appropriate for it. I just don't. So I think I'm gonna go make some food and I'm getting coffee with Jess later. And that's the plan, Stan. 